if, for example, I wanted to set a time for a queue, I could go uh, 52 off, and uh, sorry, 63 at full, and this time when I record it, conveniently here, if you have a look at the hardware, I've got a button here that says time, so I've hit record, I now hit time, and say 10, so on the screen, yes, I can see record live, Q10, time 10, enter, and on the screen here is 10 in the Q time column. Now, just so that we can get clear about what's happening with time, rather than calling this uptime and downtime, because there are so many other parameters here that I can put a time against, what they've said is, OK, we'll call this column the default time for the queue, queue time. And every time you put uh, a number somewhere else, it's taking away from the top default. So if I was to, say, put in a downtime, now I'm going to click in the downtime column, and I'm going to click again to open the box, type a 3 there, what's happened there is that I've actually put a, um, a downtime which is separate from the uptime, so anything that is fading down in this queue will happen over 3 seconds, everything else will happen over 10 seconds. Now I can do that as part of the command line data entry, so let's do another queue, so we'll go 63 off and 64 at full, and we'll record this as 11, yes that's the default, that's happy, I'm going to type time 5, which is the default time, and as soon as I hit the word time, you'll see on the, um, uh, the alternate S keys here, a bunch of time commands that I can now add to my command line they're automatically there. So I don't, don't even have to think about it. I know that um, Alt-S2 on this particular console will put down on the command line and 2. So time 5, down 2. And here you can see that Q11 has a time of 5 and a down time of 2. Uh, I've already shown you that you can select a, a cell and edit it and put a number in there and, and add in things and you can do that on any of these time fields here. What you can also do is you can select a range of things here and change one of them. Now look what happens when I change it to let's say 5. What's happened up here is that the uh, queue up here that had a downtime of 5 also then had a queue time of 5, so that became redundant data. It wasn't needed anymore, so it got rid of it. That's useful, but just be careful where you use that, because I'm actually going to use that feature now to clear off these downtimes. I'm going to put a 3 there, and now I'm going to change it to a 2. And look, it's cleared out all of my extraneous other times that I was showing you just a second ago. So just be very careful when you use that feature that there might be some other hidden times that might disappear because, of course, we normally run the um, display with that uh, line somewhere over there. There might be some hidden things that you've actually deleted. So just be a little bit careful with using that feature.